Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Jean 81S after about using it for one full month. And I think it's a pretty solid device after that time frame. But let's just rediscover some of the things that we did get in the box, like the headphones, charging cable, the brick as well that I forgot to show, a sticker, as well as the screen protector included. So this thing is going to be 202 grams of weight, which is going to be pretty solid headphone jack down below type C charging speaker on the bottom. And we also do get a triple camera setup right there on the back, right? With the SIM card for expansion. So you're going to be able to get 256 um, gigabytes of a total expansion with this thing. And as far as the software, right? You're going to probably wonder this does this thing get updates right because a lot of people wonder if smartphones get updates especially if they're budget devices but i did get the march 2022 update which was pretty surprising and i definitely thought that was something that was really cool and something that was pretty, pretty um you know dope to have coming on this device now the cameras look really cool right and they, they have this nice transparent clear frame across it and you know you get the 48 megapixel five megapixel for the wide angle and two megapixel for the portraits and on the front right you're going to get that 16 megapixel camera which is going to be pretty cool to have and um you know overall the camera setup is going to be pretty nice but i just mentioned 16 it's actually a 13 megapixel around front so i just wanted to throw that out there but you know definitely have a nice um camera arrangement on the rear with it you can see we do have a fingerprint sensor and we, along with the fingerprint sensor we, we have facial recognition on board as well so you're gonna have for the for the main fingerprint you're gonna you're gonna get that and then for the sing, secondary option is going to be the fingerprint sensor and then obviously they do give you uh, you know the password pattern or pin as well to back it but i just wanted to mention that as well okay, screencast on board i just want to mention that we won't have you know nfc on here so i just wanted to throw that out there but as far as the, st the settings and the customization on here, you're going to get some pretty decent features. Navigation, you're going to be able to customize. You're also going to get some really cool features for the intelligent assistance on board. And, you know, it's going to be a pretty decent experience. It's obviously going to have the FM radio, all of the Google apps on here as well. Now, what about gaming, right? You're probably wondering how is the gaming experience? But if you're still here, make sure you comment down below and say that I'm still here. So I know you're still rocking with me. But as far as this overall, cam um, you know, the camera's decent, but obviously it's going to be pretty. I'm going to get into that in more detail. But the MediaTek Helio G80 is something that's pretty smooth on here. It's got a 12 nanometer processing chip and it's got um, some pretty decent speeds coupled with the Mali G52 MC2. So right you're going to get some good frame rates when it comes to the speeds obviously it's going to be 60 hertz but it's going to have some really good movement and some decent stability so you're not going to feel like you're trapped in the game you're obviously going to be able to move around at your own leisure so i definitely like that i definitely think um this device does have some really nice speeds to it really good and solid for overall gaming if you decided you wanted to pick this one up for you know gaming because it's going to have some really decent speeds overall and uh, a nice flow to it right so i definitely think that's something that's going to be pretty solid after using this device for about a month now so you could use some decent games like um even genshin impact on here right but the overall feel in the hand is going to be pretty solid like as i mentioned it has a nice weight to it 202 for the grams of weight um, it's got a nice feel form factor as well and obviously it's going to have a decent um, screen to body ratio when it comes to that 385 for the pixels per inch so it's going to have a decent experience when it comes to so uh, scrolling through you know social media so you know really good pixels per inch on here you know high uh, it's going to be high quality when it comes to the screen resolution and it's going to be ips lcd on this thing so the blacks aren't going to be as dark as you would you would have seen on an amulet panel but it's definitely going to hold up you know pretty decent overall so it's not going to be something that i would really complain about but 
obviously um you know really good uh screen to look at for this type of money and you know you're going to be spending uh, you know not too much for some pretty decent quality and um you know yeah, hopefully we do get some more updates but obviously this is what it would look like when you get the march 2022 update but let me know if you did get that in the comment section i'm curious to know if you own this device did you get your update for the march security software uh, uh, patch update which would be pretty cool right i definitely think that would be pretty cool but let me know in the comment section down below so you know, I've been using this device overall. I have I have had pretty decent call quality. Uh, phone call reception did come in pretty decent. And, and just to throw that out there, they won't have uh, 5G, but it will get 4G LTE. And it did work with my Mint Mobile SIM card as well as my Straight Talk Wireless AT&T Unlock SIM card. So obviously, uh, you know, I was getting some pretty decent call quality um battery life was going to be really good on here no issues with that whatsoever with the 6000 milliamp hour battery that i was rocking inside of this guy so that was the the best part about it right and obviously when it comes down to blue g91s it's a really solid device you you get all your good features android 11 is on here if you're still okay with using Android 11, it's gonna have that on here, just like most budget devices have that right now, but I did get that software update, so I just wanted to mention that. And, um, you know, overall experience has been pretty nice. We do get some pretty good features for the camera, AI, face beauty mode, face ID, um, you know, 1080, 30 frames for front and rear, which is pretty cool, uh, Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, really good gaming experience. Also, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack was pretty nice as well. Um, and a 10 watts charging battery. So I, I definitely wish it charged a little bit quicker. As far as the front facing camera, it was pretty decent as well. A little bit washed out in the background, but you know that's to be expected at this price point. But as far as the rear, you did get some pretty decent cameras when you, overall when you were pointing and shooting. And um, really surprised with the overall um, quality on the 108 megapixel mode as well because it gets some really good detail when you're using that. So that was one of my favorite features with this device because you're able to get some really good detail whenever you're getting close up on an image with the 108 megapixel mode. So that just wanted to throw that out there. That was probably one of the best features on here as well for the cameras. So, you know, like I said, it's going to get capture some really good uh, colors, but also the, you know, details that it's going to capture on the images uh, are going to be pretty co um, compelling because it's going to not only leave out details, but it's going to capture the details and the colors uh, together and just provide you with a final product like, you know, the one you see right here. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. And I'll check you guys later. I'll get right back with you. I'll show up in the comment section and answer any questions that you may have as well. But make sure you hit the like button if you did find it helpful. If, I, if you show your support and appreciation, I would truly appreciate that. And I'll get right back with you. I'll check you guys later. Peace.